Hey guys, this time I'm gonna show you how to make a ping pong game in scratch. But first, you last time we learned how to paint a sprite. The same way we can paint a background. Just click on this paint. Then for, for how to make it, it, you can just delete this sprite word. Choose a sprite. We just need to go here and choose this. Then go take this one. You can change the color of it. Don't choose green because there is a pattern we are going to take because it is going to blend in with the color. Or if you want, you can take it. And then you can just go here again and just type in paddle. Let's see, right over here. Then again, choose this right? So change line. Then you put it at the very bottom. Then you just search. You just go to choose a background like this. Choose the sprite and go to this space. Click on this near tunnel. So now, look, then you turn, you can just go, you can just, just start the coding now. And when flag is clicked. Wait for like this click for M. Wait for like this click motion, mutton step controls forever motion, mutton steps again, and scroll down. If on edge, bounce, then you can change not mutton steps. Point in direction 45. Point in direction 90. Change it to point in direction 45. Then you can you can just take over flag script again. Go to variables. Set score to uh, set my variable. Is. Just delete this my variable. Then make a variable. You can just name it score. Just disable it. You can just click on here. If it's blue color take, then it means it's enabled now. You can just, if there it is not there, that means it's disabled and. Here it will not be shown, or else if it's enabled, it will be shown. Then you just take a set score to zero. Then for you take controls, take forever, take an if then, go to sensei, take an if touching, change it from mouse pointer to paddle. You take the variable set score to no set not set change the score by one. Then you can do go to motion again. Turn right side one eighty degrees. Then you could. Take a uh, mooted steps, change it to mm, 50 steps. No, 15 steps, go to control again. Take to wait, take a wait one second, change it to wait 0 0.15 seconds. Then you do uh, when flag is clicked again, do a forever 
and if then go to go to sensing take the touching if touching line then you can go to variable make a variable called game over game over okay then again disable it like you disable the score then you take a set game over change it to set game over 2 from set set game over to 0 change it to set game over to 1 1 and then again you just take a when flag is played then you could go to variables set game over to 0 then you go to uh, padding take a flag script go to control take a for ever go to motion take a set x2 just scroll down and it make in motions set x2 just go to setting take this mouse x and keep it inside there then you can again take an if then go to control stick in the net if then go to sensing again touching change it to touching on then again you go to control stick in an if then go to operators take this equal to Go to variables, take this game over, equals 0, then go to change, change score by 1. Then you would, for the line you don't have to do anything, paint a, paint a, a sprite, you go to text, you can change this from sans serif to anything. You have this handwriting, which is like the normal handwriting that you write. You have pixel, which is like comes the letter comes in blocks. Now I'm gonna use pixel. You can just type in game over. You can click outside of it, then change size of it like this, like and center it like this. This, yeah. Then you after you send it, you can change the color of it. I'm picking this red. Now you can go and take another color. Go to bitmap. Then. And you can just make this third and again you can just Then you can just change it to yellow. Then I'm gonna fill it. You can change it to any color. Huh? Then, then you can just do that. Now go to code. Go to your game. On. Then just go to events and go to looks and scroll down take the height so that it hides when you start your game so now 
you have to do uh, when the flag is clicked go to control take in a forever take in an ether then you can do uh, operators you can take this equal to in here and go you can go to variables take this game over you can change it to one then you can go to looks then you can scroll down a little bit put in the show so now you can just go to variables again then you can enable this variable score don't enable the game over then you can just start it now if if i so now if the ball touches line then i will receive the game over then if i click the flag it will start if it, it touches the green paddle then it will change your score by one so now so then now your game is ready you can just move your cursor where you move it the ball will the paddle will move there so that's it for today the this is the uh, this is today's tutorial of how to make ping pong in scratch so uh, bye 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 guys see you next time